Hello friends, this is Chandra from Akul Mac Technologies. Welcome to Top Brass. Today, we will talk about uh, an object called uh, Quasar. As you know, Quasar is, uh, also stands for quasi-stellar uh, radio source. Way back in uh, 60s, when the radar technology improved, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of radar which, are, uh, which were uh, military installation in those days, started getting these uh, very weird radio signals out from nowhere. So after further investigation, it was found that, uh, you know, these radio signals are uh, coming from deep space. And uh, after uh, initial uh, calculations, they found that these sources are spread across the universe. They are not necessarily coming from our own galaxy. They are coming from everywhere else, also from our galaxies. And uh, these are very strong, very bright, uh, and not necessarily uh, in the bright uh, in the visible spectrum, but they are very energetic uh, sources, very far off. And they are so far off that they they are uh, even redshifted almost by fifty percent. So it looks like that these sources, which are very energetic, very powerful, giving all the information, redshifted so much that it is coming as a radio signal, and they are almost uh, at the edge of the uh, visible universe or observable universe. So this basically created a big mystery among the scientists. And uh, the, the reason for uh, a celestial object, uh, uh, you know, giving so much radio wave, so energetic, so far off, was not immediately clear. And since these uh, signal bursts were happening on random, so it was very clear that the alien technology is not behind these uh, uh, bursts of radio, highly energetic radio signals. So it was almost uh, like 20 years it took, a uh, lot of research was, uh, you know, which went into this. And they found that these are the uh, objects which are very large, moving very rapidly, and they are like galaxies. So it is like this, at the edge of the universe, the galaxy size object, moving ra very rapidly and giving out jets from uh, the, the center of the uh, uh, of their own galactical core and that center is actually emitting a lot of uh, energy and the whole galaxy is glowing that means the galaxy itself is feeding uh, to the central uh, black hole which is basically creating all the energy around it and, and the whole object is huge, it's humongous. It is as big as galaxy moving almost, um, not as fast as the speed of light, but it's moving very rapidly, giving out a lot of energy. So this was found and the nearest one was uh, located uh, something like in the neighborhood, which is also quite far. And uh, in the eighties, since then we have uh, detected many uh, quasars, which are very far off giving out a lot of energy. They are very active. The galaxy uh, which is around the quasar is feeding the uh, central black hole and which is giving out a lot of energy. So we have also seen that uh, uh, lately that these quasars comes in various shapes and sizes and uh, they are actually uh, having more than one. Some of them are uh, also having more than uh, one uh, black hole in the middle. That means uh, the supermassive black holes which are like millions and millions in times of our sun and some of these quasars have two of them. So they are rotating around each other. And when these uh, active uh, quasars are uh, pointing towards the earth, that means we see all the action directly. Since these uh, objects are so far off, we don't really get affected by them. Uh, apart from just seeing their energy which is coming and captured into our uh, telescopes. But when they are pointed towards Earth, that means we are seeing the entire energy coming towards us. We call them, we have given them another name for blazar. Because, you know, you know the entire energy we see from the center of the, uh, uh, the jet is pointed towards uh, uh, Earth in the direction of Earth. So, these are the objects which are moving very fast. And as we know that uh, all galaxies have the capability to become a quasar. 
and in fact uh, uh, the latest observation uh, that we have seen is that even our milky way was also uh, very active few billion years back where it was emitting the jets from uh, both sides and the remnant of those jets are covered my uh, 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 in another video which i explained the size of the galaxy i will leave that uh, video as a reference here and you can see how our galaxy was also acting as a quasar but so far whatever quasars that we have been able to detect are really really far off really uh, they are uh, at the edges of our observable universe and they are very very energetic and some of them are blazars uh, uh, which are emitting a uh, lot of uh, energy and by the time it reaches us it has red shifted almost by 50% and this energy is uh, these guys are so powerful the energy survives even after 10 billion years uh, it took uh, to reach us and we can still see them these are the one of the most energetic explosions that are happening in the universe so i thought this was a important uh, 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 you know, object found in uh, in our space, and uh, uh, and I should uh, talk a little about it. And one more fact uh, which I want to uh, mention here is that the quasars at the boundary of the observable universe. So after showing the initial energy, they just move out of out of uh, out of the boundary. So all the quasars which are moving very rapidly are moving away from us, and then eventually we will not be able to observe them also because they have stepped out. from the observable observable universe uh, from our point of reference so with this i end this video please do send in your comments and i will be most happy to uh, respond any questions you have uh, and i will meet you next time until then bye bye